Welcome to the daily meditation. Invite the mind to find space whereby one can throughout this practice find inspiration in relation to your journey in evolution. Watch your breath and notice how easy it shall be to influence the lungs as you move the breath through the lower, mid and upper region of the lungs efficiently. Now take a moment to prepare the body where appropriate. Note the ease that the lower back, mid and upper spine complement each other. Add freedom to the eye muscles. Add freedom to the facial region. Imagine for the next few moments as you choose a breathing practice that allows the body recalibration, adjusting the limbs where appropriate. Move within your rhythm of your breathing. Improve exchange as you allow the breath to flood the mind with pure life-giving vital essence such as prana, chi, ki, oxygen. In your mind's eye, imagine every aspect of your physical body adjusting in alignment with the planet's matrix in harmony. Meaning, imagine the whole body being perfectly attuned in health, vitality and well-being. Add freedom to the extension throughout the entire body. Meaning, note the fingers, the toes, the crown, as you breathe. One cannot see oxygen, but one is aware of its benefits and influence upon your health. One cannot see thoughts, but one is aware of the influence of thoughts upon your decisions in life. One cannot see subatomic particles, bacteria, and so on, but one is aware of the influence of bacteria and subatomic particles upon your cellular levels. Now imagine what exists that is well beyond your comprehension from a human perspective. It is stated the human mind can only perceive a very small fraction of all that exists within the space it resides.
When appropriate, find a position where you can breathe without effort, yet the body's perfectly still. Certainly the lungs shall move, but the limbs and the rest of the torso shall be like a statue, perfectly still. As the aim behind that is to clear distraction away from the mind. Go within as you breathe. So let's say you could go back to the time when you first became conscious of your personality in human form. What would you perceive in reality's interactions if you could go back now and become aware of these original impressions that has developed to your personality trait at this present moment? And what if you manage to find the essence within the intelligence whom influenced your life and observe as to what triggered that intelligence to trigger your personality traits into activity? Go with it. Imagine if you gave yourself permission, as you are in meditation, to distill your thinking process. Go within and find what you would consider as the most refined stillness that is accessible to your state of thinking. Is this I within you? Who is this I within you? Go within. Yet find inspiration in your way of refinement.
would it be possible to relax the body much more than it is at this precise moment? Now let's say, as you continue to practice your stillness and mind reflection and meditation, you reach a level in evolution where you find yourself detached from the human construct of thinking. Many would state that that is a byproduct of deep reflective meditation. And the universe becomes far more accessible to you beyond the theoretical perspective. How shall you then interact with the conscious intelligence that is your personality traits once you reconnect out of the practice? Take this moment as you go within and allow yourself to process this theory and contemplation. Imagine reaching a state of evolution in meditation where you find yourself detached from that ego state and observing your greater lateral interactions with the universe. Go within as you breathe. Continue to take the time to allow that mind to relax in lateral expansion. Let's say you were driving a vehicle, yet along the journey, the scenery around the route was pristine. Would you simply Focus only upon the line on the road, or would you notice that you're watching yourself driving safely, yet you're taking on board the peripheral vision? Use this analogy now in regards to deepening your meditation practice. All around there is abundance in inspiration. So the question would be, should one choose to continue down the same pathway 
that the ego has been programmed to respond to, nor shall one allow that ego to continue this moment in your exchange and find deeper meaning in your life in stillness. Again, the mind is never disconnected, though it may seem at times distracted. Fine, refined connection that is omnipotent or powerful. Go with it. of your individuality. Go with it and notice the trillions of unlimited potentials that continue to sweep through your mind within every second of existence. Be empowered. Remembering that whatever your mind has accepted on a subconscious perspective shall influence how you respond from a conscious perspective. Thus, review your entire life and notice the person whom you are today is a collection of accepted beliefs that have in time woven within your personality. Thus we reflect back upon the original blueprint that triggered the pathway as to where you have found yourself to date. What does it mean to love unconditionally? What does it mean to live a free life? What does it mean if you were to understand the omnipotence of all creation? And how do you fare along the universal timelines in evolution? Is this life the life that you have chosen to set into motion to achieve the greatest evolution thus far along your pathway? If so, how is your mind interacting with your mind daily? And as you notice your interactions in life, how is the mind interacting with life daily?
again reinforce within your mind the understanding that whatever the subconscious has accepted, it will influence the conscious. Thus, meditation is a practice that allows you to interact far easier with the subconscious. Be kind to yourself. Be clear in your directive. And give yourself permission to declutter the mind from all its past tentacles that has in any way limited you. Be empowered now. If you began to understand that anything is possible, would you choose to allow yourself to interact with that vibration? Or would you simply allow yourself to remain where you are? Be empowered now. And trust that in meditation you are Connecting yourself to the omnipotence of all existence. Sense the light of pure divine guidance. And allow yourself to awaken to your pure divine nature, meaning to reawaken to the essence whom you are that existed before your personality in interaction that you've associated with in this life. Who was this essence, the I within you that existed before conception? Did it manifest out of thin air, at conception? Or are you comfortable with the concept of eternality that concept where you have existed throughout all of existence? In meditation, one in time shall find the freedom in mind liberation. Choose to allow yourself uncompromising access to the divine intelligence that moves through you 24-7. And remember, 
there's not a single thought that goes astray. Use your mind to your advantage by allowing it to feel more connected with each thought than it had previously to the greater essence of all life. And in time, you shall reawaken to your pure divine nature in full vigor and illumination. Let this incarnation, this life, be the life of full reconnection. Now deepen your breath and move your awareness within your physical body in recognition that this body is omnipotent or powerful. And your mind is unlimited in its variables. Bring on board a sense of positivity, unconditional acceptance of your connection to the divine, and recognize what you may consider as pure light and love, and let it exude through all your thoughts and actions. Deepen your breath. Now sense yourself grounded, for as you think, so shall you set in motion. Feel connected to the planet Earth, as the body is temporarily borrowed from this planet, let every cell within this body be attuned perfectly in every way, in all your thoughts and actions. Now, until we interact again, as always, may the universal light continue to fan the flame within your inner mind to awaken you to your full glory that awaits before reconnection. For whatever reason you chose to take physical incarnation in human form, let it be truly worthy of your personality in exchange. Be light, be loved, live a wonderful life. But for that to be a reality, you must acknowledge, accept it, and make it a subconscious influence upon all your thinking. Thus, be proactive. Be loved, be light. Be the inspiration that you seek. And in turn, work to live with diligence in complete inner peace in motivation.